Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode I'm going to go to the Ocean Monument and do a bit of digging. So a little bit of time lapse in this episode. Can't speak again. So, But first of all we're going to have a look at the bees. Because we always look at the bees first. So if you remember rightly we got a... What did we get last time? We got, a, we got some common princes. We got a Meadows drone which was a Meadows forest. And I bred, I think I crossbred it this time with a... I can't remember exactly. I think it was a prince, Meadows Princess with a... No, it was a Forest Princess, wasn't it? Ah, I'm obviously got this time. We've got another uh, Meadows Princess and two common drones. So we need to analyse those, first of all. See how we're getting on with those. If it uh, doesn't crash on me. That's right. Hold on a second. Oh, of course, I've got them looking at the apiary. I can't take it out. When you're looking at the apiary, you can't analyse the bees. You have to put them into your inventory here so what's we got a meadows common a common meadows and a common meadows so i guess that the best thing to do is just to try these two together again and see if we actually get a pure common drone so we've got a choice of getting something either it's likely we'll get something common in this case <laughs> we'll see how we get on so we also, we've also got this one which is a common forest it might have been better to use a common forest but uh, too late now i've decided to use this one so let's let's trundle off to the uh through the nether and see you on the other side when we get to the ocean monument right here i am and we can have a quick look at this because you see i've cleared out quite a lot it's a big job doing this and i've been doing it in the summers because you can't do it in the winter it's too cold in, the, in this biome because the biome temperature is minus three uh it says I've got climatization on, but that's... Uh, actually, there was... Um, as I was approaching this, I got climatization of minus 10 from the nether, but that's wrong, because I was miles away from the climatization. Anyway, we're here. So what I'm doing for this is I've got some sand. Let's, get in, let's go and unpack that somewhere. Um, and we'll do some digging up. And I'll show you what I've been doing. I've set up a little bit of automation for putting down sand. It's relatively straightforward, nothing complicated about it. But I keep running out of sand. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll just put down my um, uh, nap backpack here and have a look at what's inside it. I've got some sand in here like this. So I can put this sand down here and I've got 2,100. It doesn't actually last that long, surprisingly enough. So let's just pick up the backpack. No, I'll leave the backpack there. In fact, anything valuable I'll put into the backpack. I've got some iron to repair the stuff that I, when it damages. Mostly it's my helmet that actually seems to be suffering quite a lot. And the other thing I probably don't need is the... Uh, and the rest of it's full. So let's just take a... Let's just go back here. You see we're already cold at five, at five. And it is... What time of day is it now? Well, it's actually early morning. So, so what I've been doing with this... Let's take it out. Take a sun, stack a sun out here, and I've been creating this thing. And all this is 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 a dispenser, and it's connected to a clock at the back there. And here I've got a sticky piston, and the sticky piston, what it's doing is pushing sand in this direction. So the dispenser is dispensing sand when the arm is back and the piston's pushing it forward like that. So all the difference is it's here. I probably have to be a bit careful there because there are, there are a few mobs around. I don't really want them attacking me but I could probably have a go at attacking them anyway because they're, they're a bit of a pain <laughs> guardians are very much a pain got him good oops another one shooting me up oops and I fell into the water brilliant <laughs> I did actually die once here I will be honest with you I died because um I went to get my dispenser I dropped one in the water and it was a mistake let's just see if we can get some more health back from that guy no anyway this clock here, I turn it on. It's basically just, it's got a redstone clock on this one. So let's just turn that on. And being tacked again, you can see by the bubbles. And you'll see that these two are actually cycling. And the difference is this one's got no ticks and this one's got a three second or three tick um, delay. So that you see this is pushing out like this. So all I need to do is put some sand into here. And it's going to start pushing the sand down like that. And when it's finished doing that, you 
comes down here and it starts to push it anyone that's the hole that's there down there and then it's completed it's starting now it now starts to spit sand out so i can take the sand out of here and what i do then is i just simply take or remove one of these two pieces of redstone here like that and then i clear up clear this away with uh let's go it. it's probably a just remove this off until I get to the end, which will be actually here. Let's get rid of that one. And it's gone down one hole there, but it doesn't matter very much. We'll put one, another bit back. So the next thing I do is I simply get the pickaxe, not the not the silk touch pickaxe. We use that later on. And dig up this block here, and then put down. Oops! I should, what I normally do is move this out of the way. So, because I don't need an axe when a lumber axe with me, and then just put it down here, and it starts clicking again. And then I do the same thing with this block here. Take this block, and I normally put that in front of the piston, uh, in front of the dispenser here, because the sticky piston, sticky piston will actually pick it up. So let's just pick this up. Don't need a tool for doing that one, and it saves tool, so let's not waste. And then I put this down here, and it starts, starts again. So all I then do is put the sand back into here. And it starts getting dispensed, dispensed out again, as you can see. In fact, it won't be too long before that gets filled up because we're quite near to the center of the of the monument. And as you get to the center, it uses less and less sand. Of course, on the out on the edges, it uses a ton of sand because you've got these walls to build. And these walls, as you can see, are uh, very very deep. <laughs> And I haven't got enough sand yet, even having done what I've just done, to fill in the edges here. Look, you can see the edges. I need to fill these edges up to about, uh, to a good sort of ground level, or what I want the ground level to be. I'm being cautious here. So that one's now finished, as you can see, and it's kicking out the sand. Oh, no, it's not. It's not quite finished, because if it had finished, it would have stopped. So let's get some more sand out of here. Don't need to two stacks, one stack will be fine. And let's put that into the dispenser. I'll just put it in a couple of pieces. And that's it. So that's its reach. It's got 12 block reach for this thing. Like that. So when that's finished, I'll just remove this remove this again. And this one. And then move it back again. So we just pick up the sun that we've got here. Because it doesn't work anymore because it's been disabled. And with these lanterns, this one's in a bad place. We'll just remove this lantern from here. And we'll put them on, on the edge of this diamond. So I'm putting them on the front edge of this, well, as you can see, the front edge of these diamonds here like that. And as I move it along, it, it I keep doing that. So let's just, now I've already got at least two of these, which I can clear up. Now the trouble is, at the moment it's a bit on the cold side, so it's difficult to clear them up at the moment. We'll have a go at doing one. Probably, but I have got some potions, and I have got some potions for that. Now, whether they're in here or not, I'm not sure. Healing potion, that's always a good one. Cold resistance, we'll take the cold resistance potion. And we'll take a regen pro potion with us as well. We can actually put the portable analyze in there. And I'll remove the sand, I don't need this sand anymore. And what we do need, and this is down here, and I didn't pick them out, they're in the, actually the furnace down here. So let's go and get those. The... Um, the sponges, of course. Now, where did I put the ladder? <laughs> I think it's just one of these down here. There we go. So I just walk down this, walk and then step back and make sure you catch the ladder, otherwise you hit the ground and die. And that's how I died the other time as well. So I died twice. Once because I got guardianed, and the second time was because I <laughs> did that. So now, in here, I've got 68 sponges. Just take out a stack. And we come back over here. In fact, I can go up this way. It's pretty quick going to. And I have got some. Oh, no, I haven't got it with me, actually. I need the ladders as well, of course. I've got 64 ladders in here. In fact, this is what I've been collecting from the various bits and pieces. The redstone is for um, making the extending this. I extended it the whole way across the box there as well. And that was in stone in that one. 
So right, I'm going to do this one next. And when I've done this, this sand block here, and this sand block here, I think, they won't be connected to anything. They'll be just free by themselves. That one fell down, didn't it? I won't go and get that just yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look on the mini map. It looks like there is a guardian underneath me, somewhere like this. So what we do is I'm going to dig up this one block here. The reason I dig up that is because I, if I fall in, I'm one block below the water now. If I can get into the thing, and then I just take this, and I just take my pickaxe, silk to pick because I don't want. To, I want to keep the stone as stone, and I just dig this up. Because I've got the magnetic armor on, I'm picking up all this, all of this stuff that have been dropped. And you'll see I've already gone cold. Why? Because it's coming to night time. So I've got to get out of here. So I'll have to get out of here first. Let's do that with some cobblestone. And let's have a quick sleep. It might take the monsters about, but no, there aren't any. So the, the temperature should be going back up to five. Now the trouble is we'll go down to minus five when we dig this out. And the first thing we need to do next is we don't need jack-o'-lanterns, we need ladders. So I'm going to mark with these ladders where, we, where we're going to be able to dig out. So we'll be able to do, oh, there is one. Oops. I'm probably going to take a hit now. Yeah, that's the problem. Where did he go to? Did I kill him? All right, maybe I killed him. So what we'll use is the goggles to do that. So we can put a ladder down here like that. And we can put a ladder down here. So this isn't going, behind this one, there's going to, going to be water, isn't it? Oops, no, I didn't kill him. <laughs> Where's he gone to? Let's just turn on the goggles. Oh, no, I haven't got my goggles with me. Ah, oh, of course, of course, I haven't got my headpiece with me. And I'm taking another hit. Let me just try and concentrate a second. Let's get my goggles on before I start to do this. I need my goggles on because you've got night vision on these goggles. So I'll just take some regen now. But I might have even been taking coldness. Let's put these on. So we can actually see below us what's going on here. Yeah, there he is. As you can see, he's just down there. So I can just... I can spam him with my shuriken. My shuriken will, will sort him out. There we go. So there's no more mobs in here. So we'll turn off the goggles so we don't waste those. So I'm not going to, what I'm going to do now is take this so we don't freeze to death because we need our health basically. So we go down two blocks and we come up one like that and we carry on doing this until we get right down to the bottom and it doesn't take too long. So you go down two blocks, you can't go down three because then you get then you get the slowness. And this last block will start to push me away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually all just do it from here, I think. Normally I can just do it from here. And then that clears up all of this. Now the next thing we could do is we see where the, 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 um, the lattice are. I think it was... Good question now, think about it. I think it's actually this side. I should have marked that, shouldn't I? So what I do, and I haven't got it with me, is I need some stone slabs. So I better go and get those. Now if I'm not mistaken, we'll go up this side here. Where did that put that one? Put a second one down there. I heard it go put it down. As you see, we're in such stone slabs, so I have to go back over here. Oh, it's all very hairy, this isn't it at the moment. Right. So I need some stone slabs. Not such a problem. Either I'm going to make some or get some out of my bag. I think I've got some prepared somewhere. Here we go, 10 stone slabs. So we're going to go back into this thing again and go down it. Oh, where's the ladder? Over that. So it's probably easier to go this way, isn't it? If I don't fall in, that is. Right, got there. Well, of course I can do this from the other side now, but I'll just go down this one like that. So we know that this bit is clear. So all I'm going to do is to take my slabs here and break this. And what I do is I basically watch until it gets down to about... It's 93% or something like that. 
and I put a block in there. And that'll have, of course, done it, but the sand didn't fall because I'm too fast, <laughs> I think. I'm not exactly sure why, but it, it does seem to work pretty well <laughs> when I do this. You can use a to you can use a torch, of course, but and I keep breaking this away. So that's that's how I do these, and then you can reuse the sand, of course. So what I'll do is get another pickaxe pickaxe out. I don't need that one. No, I just want the cheap one, the bronze pickaxe pickaxe from the early days. I just pick these up and then reuse these again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and show you another area that I have to do but first of all be a bit careful getting off those of course don't you what I'll do is I'll put down a block of sand here because it looks a bit tricky without doing that and of course I've got some rewards from doing that to um, Guardian so now let's have a look the ones which are interesting are the ones at the edges and there's one here, but it's not quite filled in. So let's just fill it in. I suppose the fastest way to do that is to like this. I'll come back in a few seconds when I fill this in all around and we can do the edge one. See you in a few seconds. Right, so I fill this in manually, as you can see. It's symmetrical, but it doesn't behave slightly. It doesn't behave symmetrically. So what we have to do is we have to go down here one block like that, as, as we did last time, ignore the freeze. And then we can break this away like this. So I'm going to use my silk to pick again on these stone ones. I'm not going to check, of course, if there's a mob down there, which I should have done. Right, so, for last time. So press G to turn my helmet on, night vision, and have a look. There are no mobs down there. So we don't need to worry about mobs to, this time. I do need to worry about temperature because I don't have any more heat resistant stuff. So let's just turn off the helmet. So at the moment I have five and it'll go right down. So when I do this, I'll break this it'll push me down and I can absorb that no problem but you'll notice it is not symmetrical it's water's flowing down here now we can go down two blocks like that and we can then take a bucket and make a bucket of water we can put some water over here on that side and on that one and it makes it flat again so we're not going to be pushed off here if I get pushed off here it's going to be a bit difficult as it happens especially without any heat protection so we don't want to do that as you can see oh, my temperature is already four and my thing is jumping up and down so i'm going to be have to be careful with it so we do that again in fact i can actually take my time to do this except for one problem it's coming up to night time yes yeah, 9 38 sunset so what i can do to solve that problem <laughs> is to put down a bed quickly let's just do that so i've got one and then we just need two blocks for a bed like this don't we and then we can sleep on one of these put this down in here we can sleep on that so that's going to take away the, the temperature time difference problem and it is a problem i promise you so we'll make sure we're in the middle which is this one here and then we can break these two blocks away with the pickaxe so that would now we go down again so this time we go down two one two and up and of course we can then go down another two and then we can start to move the water very easily so we'll do that I actually forgot to bring a bucket with me. I had to make one while I was while I was. I just after filling up the thing like that, so it's all flat. Off we go again. Now, of course, you've, if you were unlucky and had um, there was and there was a mob in here, which there wasn't, or you couldn't sleep because of mobs, you have to just basically get out of the thing altogether, just pull your way out of it. So there we go. So let's carry on down here. And this is going to be a lot deeper than the other ones. Do you know, I nearly forgot to do it that time. But fortunately, I didn't. Because this is the edge of the monument. And if we can do it as quickly as we can, then we're not going to get pushed around so much and stay in the water as for too long. So last, should be we're getting on towards the last of it now. I think that'll actually do because I'm not going to get pushed off, but I'm not going to take a chance because if, if I do take a chance, and that's why I'm going down here one block, because if I do fall in the water, there's only a little bit to get out of and you can get out of this quite easily. 
And temperature is, for some reason, gone down. Ooh. Like that. Because we've gone down in... Why has it gone down? Probably because we're going altitude, yes. But I can still survive this. Oops, missed. Try again. Ah, now here we come to another problem. As you can see here. What's happening here, and have I got some sand? Yes, I have got some sand. Is we're actually underneath the monument. And it's actually going to take the monument out of his sand, like this. I'm going to have to... Oops, wrong one. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to put some sand down. I'm going to have to pick those up, but be careful doing that. So what I'm going to do is to go down one more. And then go up. I can't go up, you see. I've got to go down two. And then I can go up. And now we should be able to put the sand down here. Um, problem is, now yeah, yes, I can reach that. This is actually underneath the monument. So when I break these here, and I'm not going to do that yet because I don't want them floating away. If they float away, I have a problem. Let's just make sure the water's okay. Let's put that down there. In fact, I can probably pick up one of these blocks of water here. I'm trying to figure out which one is the a source water block. Okay, good. Right, down we go. So we should be able to completely empty it out now. Good, we can. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring some to mark the, the places. And in fact, the only one I can, you can see on the mini map, basically it's here. So what I can do with this, I can take this ladder out of here and then try this. As you can see. Once you've done that, I can get out of here fairly easily because I've got some places to get out of it. So we know also that this one's also can be broken. And oh, these two as well. So this one, only this one really. The other one I can break manually or just, just do it. Like that. So we can come up with one more down down here I can break quite safely as you can see you can actually see it so let's just break this one off but there will be water coming out of here unless I've cleared some water away so let's just check if I break this block here you should see water flowing oh maybe I'm all right so let's just try that one oops missed it that time do it from the front And there's no water good in fact you can see this is the sort of the pillars of the of the ocean monument itself so i need to go and get those bits now so what i'm going to do to get those i'm going to palm up pile up to get those like that and i can safely break these two blocks on them yeah i thought so so one of these blocks here has got water and let me just check i've got 15 so when i break this you should get the 16th but it will also be sand in there that's it. Oh no, fine. It didn't actually. Let's go down one. We can have a look in that hole then. Oh yes. So that may even be in the actual monument itself. And I just fell down. <laughs> Whoops. Never mind. Anyway, so it looks like that's okay. So let's just put that down there and break this block. Put two that time. I should have 10 of those, yes I have and you'll see it's I'm cold so I can get out of here easily enough because I kept a way to get out of here I think I should remove these I'll do that now because I'm going to fall off if I'm not careful I, can, I know I am so let's just remove these few. So what do we need to remove? I think I'm going to put a ladder on that one. Let me know it's one behind that. So we'll just quickly remove these. In fact, oops. Yeah, good. I think that 
that's a lot now. And you'll see down here is actually quite an interesting area. It's quite, it's a long way down. I've got to be quite careful because actually that's the front of the monument. And we can't go, we can get down there. We have to go the long way around, of course. Like this. And you'll see I've got, uh, I've got a ladder here, which I shouldn't really have that ladder on there. Oops, and I've fallen down again. And I've nearly killed myself that time. <laughs> right. Anyway, fortunately I've got some ladders to get out of here. And I don't want to fall down again. Next time I do that, I'll probably die. So that's how I'm progressing with this. And you can, as you can see, the motion monument is slowly opening up. So this summer I'm going to finish off clearing this out. To regen myself is fairly straightforward. All I'm going to do is take, um, I guess we've got eight. All I'm going to do is just go back, and get, go to the bees and they'll sort that out for me. Let's remove this one. And like that. So this is what it looks like after we've cleared out some of the walls. I've, I've actually left a retaining wall at the very top there. That's really for safety as much as anything. Well, not my safety, but being able to do stuff. So if, if I make a mess of things, I can go back and repair it. So what I'm going to do now is come and look how I've actually been doing this. So let's start. I think the best thing to do is probably start at the corners. There we go. Another, another kamikaze <laughs> squid. They're falling down all the time. Which is good because I'm picking up a few, fair few ink sacks, which I've got a shortage of. Now this particular um, ocean monument is on quite a steep hill. One side is very is very shallow, as you can see here, and the other side very deep. It took me ages to fill it up. So what we have to do here, is I want to clear away this block. And what I'm using is I'm using these stone slabs to do that. In fact, I've actually left something back in there base to actually clear it up. As you can see here there's a stone slab. I just removed this stone slab because I don't need that one. And make sure there's not one on the other side like that. So then I want to re remove this block here. And I'm going to go one block above where I'm normally breaking these blocks. So what I do is I'm holding down the I'm doing it very fast like that and I actually messed that one up. And I think that I'll try that again because I think I've still safe for water. If I mess it up, then we have to go and fix it. And that's actually why I suggest you do this first of all. You can now break this block here and it'll all fall down. And hopefully, if I, got, I had one extra block on the top there, so I had that one extra chance. So then what we now need to do is replace this block, remove this block here and replace these two. And I'll go and get the blocks I'm using as the, as the corner pieces first of all because I think I left those behind. Unless they're in my inventory. No, I've just got sand in my inventory. I think, well, I think I put them in this chest here. Yes, I did. So I've got these golden light blocks from Ferdinand's Flowers, which is basically a block of gold with a torch in it. I'll get rid of these, don't need these for this. As you see, I'm picking up a fair few slime balls and um, ink sacks just doing this stuff. It's a bit careful. I have to be a bit careful though because it's a bit steep. So the first thing I have to do is I would like to, I have to go down one block here. So I have to break the blocks just either side of this. And it is important. I tried it without doing this. So I thought, oh, well, I just need to replace that block and then remove the other one. Now it doesn't work that way. The fluid mechanics in Minecraft don't work that way. Let's just put my helmet on. I haven't got my helmet on. Either. Let me just put my helmet on because I've got bit of night vision and it might actually help at the moment yes it is look see there's that block and I want to replace this block here with, with a block of gold so I can quite happily remove that one take this one out of the way and put a block of gold in here like that if I can reach it of course so I'll try again like that so now I can happily break this block on top of here and this block here and it stays as it is so and I can now what I can now do is to fill these two blocks in again Let's just fill, use those some sand to fill this in. I'm tending to use sand anyway. And that's it, done. There's nothing else to do on that corner. So now I can finish breaking these blocks out. Now what I'm doing with these is that you can make mistakes. It's actually surprisingly easy to make mistakes. And it's, let me just turn my head off. My uh, goggles off again. 
So you just go like, basically if you right click here like that, it doesn't matter. You've, you do, it it doesn't affect anything so when it's already been done. So if you break it like that and you can get your block underneath it, you can then break all of these and they, they all fall down nicely. I can break this one behind here as well. Just get rid of some of this extra sand here. And as you see, then I can remove this block here, like that, and remove the one in front of me. And come to the next one, I'll do the same thing. I'm actually quite good at putting the net, breaking the block and putting the other block in. I seem to have got that to, off to a fine art. So there we are. So this corner is now com completely cleared out. Well, I've got to do these two blocks over here. We'll just quickly do those. Last one of these. But there seems to be a hole in here. Oh, is that a hole in there? Maybe that's a hole in there. Let's just try filling it in with a block of sand. I think it is. No, no, it's slate. <laughs> that would have been a bad thing to do. Water would might have come in. So that's corners done. So all I'm doing to do this, oddly enough, is just putting down two slabs, one on top of each other but with the gap between the two. In fact, let's just carry on doing this because I've got a magic, uh, I haven't got my builder's one with me actually, I should have put my builder's one, it's probably been charged up. So I just place these down like this and then place the half slab on top of that. I went, um, Nathan Ryan was doing this, he didn't do it quite the same way. He put down one block uh, on the half slab and then dug it out. I'll show you what he was doing, let's just do that here. So he was putting down a half slab here like this, and then he was coming along here and breaking this block, like that, and then replacing this block, like that. that. Then you can break this quite safely, they'll all come falling down. Once that's done, you can then put this block down here like that, and then break this block here, and then break the one in front of it. And that's exactly what I'm doing here with these two pieces of uh, stone slabs. It works the same way. And you can carry on doing this. You can do it like this. So once you've got in here like this, you don't have to get wet. If I turn on the um, temp temp info, let's have a look. You'll see I'm actually wet. I don't need to be in the water when I'm doing this. I can just stand a bit outside like that. So break this and off we go again. Break that back block, break the front block and move on to the next one. So I'm going to carry on doing this and I shall come back when I've got to the whole area. In fact, let's start with this corner piece over here before I do any more so we can see how to do corners. This is the one I haven't touched in order so I can show how I do it. I'm only going to do two blocks on each side and then basically put this one down like this. And we shall start with this. Oh, we can now we can put, safely start with this one here and break this block here. This, this is a bit tough because you've got to get in and it's not so easy to get in and see the block at the same time as you're breaking it like that, which I succeeded in doing. We can break that one. Wait for all the sand to come down. Of course, I've got magnetic armor on, so that does help a lot when I'm doing this like that. And I recommend only going back um, one block, so to speak, two blocks at the corner, so you finish the corner off before you start doing the rest. So let's just carry on with this like that. And while that's all falling down, now I was thinking I was tempted to actually go and do the start of the next one, but I won't. I want to do these two here. Obviously I can't get to this corner, so all I'll do is break this one off first of all, and then I'll come into this bit here, and then just do this one. As soon as I've broken that one there, I'm all right. I can take this piece out of here and knock this one down, and then put the corner piece back in here like that. And then we can do the, these two corner bits quite safely. So I'll just clear it up. <laughs> As I said, the squids are falling down all the time. It's actually night time, so I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a few seconds.
There we are. There we are. <laughs> mm, all right, okay. So let's carry on doing this one. We'll just do this corner piece and then we'll carry on. Uh, then I'll finish it. Oops, now I've messed up. Now I've got to check whether or not I've actually got a block of water above that. I another spare, a spare sand. I think I have. So let's just try one more time. Like that. If I've got it wrong, it'll start pouring out. That wall at the top there doesn't make any difference. It doesn't prevent it from falling. Oops, let's get the back one and then this one, and we're all right. So now we can do this corner piece. So we'll do the corner piece in exactly the same way. Like that, break that one. Break that piece like that. Come and do it over here. I'm sure, I think I'm either too fast or something like that, or sand doesn't fall as it's supposed to fall. So we break those two bits, then we break away this piece, this block here. Wait for it to come in, should have picked it up. And break this one here like this. Not seeing them getting picked up, but it doesn't mean to say they're not getting picked up. So now we can put a slab on top of this piece here. And actually I'll do this from the side, because. Uh, being left-handed, I tend to do work this way around, doesn't mean why. Like that. And we can safely break this away. Oh, actually, I think that I'm, probably one, I'm probably one block up too high, aren't I? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, then I'm going to have to put another block on top of this. Let's see if that works. It does, good. So now we can break this block here. Or those two. And then we can put down the gold block here. And then we can break this block, which is done, and then we can break this block. And everything's staying up, as you see. So what we can then do is just fill these two in with sand again, and that's that corner completed, as you can see. So I'm going to carry on with this, and I shall see you in a short while when it's all completed. Until then, see you shortly. Right, this is completed, as you can see. So let's have a quick wander around and just have a look at what we can actually see from here. <laughs> it looks quite, it looks quite. I've left a few bits and pieces around, and I made a slight mistake here. That was those are both two, and I was trying to figure out where I'd done it too long, and it was actually this. It's actually the front side. So this was actually a four-block piece of set of sand, as opposed to a uh, a three-block. Not that one. Another one, must be the end piece here. I must have made just one one place I just did too big. It looks quite impressive, doesn't it? And it looks it looks very impressive from looking through the water outside the sea. I'm quite impressed. Well <laughs> here we go. This this side I did made four blocks. But don't ask me how I did that. So we'll just quickly drop down here and have a look. You can drop down here quite safely. Uh, these are these light blocks which you don't really see light maybe at night time you'll see it better like that. and of course i'll be picking up this stuff as we go along past got some ladders just in the occasional place so we can get up here as you can see and what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be removing that temporary platform there which was building platform and uh, oh, some more just go down and get those. If I put on um, night vision, we should be able to see it better. Let's just put night vision on. You can see what is down there. Let's wander around the side. I think I've got enough night vision left on my um, helmet. And you can see the side was reasonably shallow. You've got some. I think that's prismarine over there. So I was going to say I was going to tear this down and put the um, uh, the nether portal inside. Probably here might be a good place to put the nether portal. This should link up anyway, so we can break all of that down. As you can see, the side is very shallow. And what I'll probably do is going to put it to the railway with a, an absorption hopper in a inside a minecart, I think, or. And then they can run around here just looking at that. This side here was, was very, very shallow. It was actually <laughs> almost sea level. 
I'm not good. No, it can really work. That will give me a source of um, ink sacks as a regular basis. But you can see just where I'm coming up to now, this looks like there's a mob. In fact, there's several mobs down here. So this must be a um, on some underground caves down there. So probably what I'm probably going to do here is put down some water to prevent uh, endermen and stuff like that. And what I'll probably also do is to build a spawner for um, guardians, because guardians will spawn here quite happily. And I'll probably do that. Oh, maybe I'll do that over the entrance. I was planning to do that over the entrance here, because that's got the biggest amount of space. So on that note, it's time to say goodbye. Next episode, I shall be doing some immersive engineering big machines. I've got, I'm planning to do the arc furnace. In fact, that's all prepared. Also, I'm planning to do immersive petroleum because I think that might be a good source of diesel for that. Something I've never done too. The, um, the arc furnace I haven't done either. And the last one of those in that same line is immersive tech where you can get a faster coke governor. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.